determination uh hard work and ambition uh so i was born in mulechi uh in a little village called lumsdale uh they call it black town Drupins. so yeah i grew up there with my grandmother ever since i was i was very young i think i was about two years old uh yeah i went to school there all the way up until i did matric and then i came to Joburg, i think around 20 2011 2010 to study further uh so when i joined in 2017 uh we actually qualified for the sasol league national championship but uh, i couldn't attend attend the the playoffs due to to work commitment which was i think for me it was a bit of a low because it was my first year with the team and i have achieved you know uh qualifying for the playoffs and now i couldn't i couldn't go and and, and play so that was one of my lows and my highs uh, i think not losing since 2018 we haven't lost a game since 2018 up until now and i think 2021 it, it has been a great year for us because we participated in three competitions and we have won all of them and we still have to lose again ah uh, i i try my best you know i i, I do my best it's, it's not easy you know uh the industry is sometimes it's it's, it's uh challenging you know because you constantly have to learn you know technology is growing every day you know you constantly have to learn you constantly have to go out there and and do your certification and i mean i mean consultation space you know in, in corporate and you are driven by deadlines you know so having to balance you know balance between reaching you know at my deadlines and having to come to training it, it's, it's not being easy but i think it's all God, man. Uh, sometimes I don't know how I do it, but yeah, I think it's just God giving me strength and, and, and just keep going. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's something that has been long coming. You know, uh, it, it was about time that women in, in, in football get recognized. You know, uh, I think we, we need to give uh, kudos to, 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 to all who bets for coming in to sponsor the, the Women's League, you know, and we can see that it's now growing and it shows with, with, with us now going into the CAF Champions League and actually winning the, the title, you know, it shows that there's, there's a lot of potential in South Africa and we just need, you know, support in order for, 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 for this uh, list ladies and, and the talent from, from, from all the other players around South Africa to grow. Uh, yeah, I think from my side, specifically for when I look at, at, at how the, the, the club has been supporting us, you know, the ladies team, I think it's, it's, it's huge, you know, I think Mamilu Sundowns is probably the only team in, in the whole of South Africa with, with the ladies football. And it's not just a matter of just having, you know, a ladies football. They are taking care of us. We are, we are, we are well taken care of, and they support us. You know, everyone uh, within the Mamelodi Sundowns institution is supporting us, and it, it means a lot, you know, to, to all of us. And it shows that Mamelodi Sundowns is committed to, to women empowerment. Uh, I would want more women to play football, you know, for my village. I think. Growing up, uh, I, I remember, I think it was just about two or three of us who played football, you know, uh, the whole village. And I think I'm the only one who actually persuaded football up until now. And I would love to see more girls playing football because now women's football is growing and something that they can, they can do. <laughs>